star players without a doubt. Some people said I overpaid for him, but I saw it as uh, I paid his value. I know some people could have got him cheaper, but yeah, players, the value, the amount you can get him from varies from career mode to career mode. It just depends what the team wants and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't want to waste any time with that as well. I wanted to get him to the first team. I offered his value. So yeah, I don't see that as overpaying. Uh, that's my opinion. Sure, could get a bit cheaper, maybe a couple million cheaper, but in the whole scheme of things, a couple million, I probably wasn't going to do much with it. So, yeah, as long as he performs for me, that's all I care about. So, uh, I'll definitely look into that in the future, though. I'll be careful with players running out their contract uh, in under 12 months. Maybe I'll offer a couple million less than their value. So, yeah, thanks for giving me a heads up uh, for that. I'll definitely uh, take that into consideration for uh, future signings. But you look at Manchester United squad or the starting 11 uh, for this game. Interesting that they are going with Andreas uh, Lindegaard instead of David De Gea. will be interesting to see if it makes an impact. But got Lucas Fabianski. Uh, I feel he's better than maybe a younger player with potential because he's going to perform right now. He's going to be a solid goalkeeper. Not world class, but he's going to be all right. And that's what's going my signing going to lead uh, I hope, anyway. I'm judging what Fabianski does this season. Uh, I might sign a replacement or just as a second goalkeeper uh, to have two quality, maybe a guy on a free transfer in January. Got to keep that in mind as well. If you have any ideas, drop in the comments. Because, uh, yeah, I do want to sign some players that you suggest because uh, that will keep you interested in watching, especially if it's like a player that's multiple times suggested because that's a lot of people wanting to see that player at this club. So... The hype is ready. Usually, I wouldn't show this much lead up, this much yeah, game highlights or whatever you call it, uh, like cutscenes. I like to do it at the start of a new season just to get the hype up. And yeah, can't get more hype than this Manchester United who sacked me. So absolutely huge. And you can see Joel Campbell early. Just look at this, just darting through the defense. Look at that pace and dribbling. Try to shots. He didn't get it on target, but that was so good. Uh, he showed confidence, and it just. He just ran past the Manchester United defence with ease. But now Wilfred Bonny is on just before the halftime break. Tries a shot. But you can really see uh, he can get past the defence with his strength. Uh, 94 strength is absolutely insane. And Joel Campbell, look at that again. This guy's going to be a star for us if he's doing this now. Imagine when he gets better. So he took a run again. And this time he was brought down, I believe that was by Raphael. But it was more like a fail. So <laughs> Raphael... Uh, what a mistake, Raphael. What was he doing there? He was just grabbing him. He was all over him. He First he was grabbing him, and then he went in for the tackle. Didn't get the ball. Just, like I said, it was a complete uh, fail uh, on that occasion. They're bringing uh, Fellaini off. Uh, definitely a more attacking substitution there. Bring on Di Maria. He's someone who's going to be... Have have to get. Um, we have to be careful. Definitely have to be careful. Even if we score this right here from the penalty spot, uh, we're going to have to be responsible defensively with Di Maria coming on, one of the best attacking players in the world. But we had to make sure uh, we scored this. So I always got to make sure who's my best penalty taker. I think um, Sigurdsson was the best on the pitch at the current time. Uh, with Bonnie, uh, it was hard to go for. Obviously, Bonnie had the power, but uh, Sigurdsson uh, was the best pen taker. But I changed it to Bonnie just because of his pure power, and he scored, uh, he looked like scoring so far in this game, and yeah, he looks uh, very, very good, and he's going to try that with the strike, and bang, and that's why I said, I love to go for those powerful shots, so I prefer to use a penalty taker uh, with high power, so I can blast that shot, even if they guess the right way, like he did on that occasion, uh, yeah, very minimal chance of saving it, uh, especially from a high shot power of Wilfred Bonny, or Boney, <laughs> people saying uh, Boney is how you pronounce his name. So I'll do that from now. Boney. I just got to get uh, yeah used to saying it that way. Boney. But yeah, uh, Wilfred Boney scores right there. It was, uh, like I said, a powerful drive. Everything you would expect uh, from uh, the big man. He's going to have to go up. He's going to be really the decider how well I do this season. He's a star striker. Like, say if we're missing him, if he gets injured or something, I'm not sure if Badafimbi Gomez is going to be as good. He's a similar type. But will he be as good? You don't really know. So, uh, yeah, this has been a decent start. 1-0, uh, but, yeah, definitely have to be careful. Just freshening things up with some subs. Uh, Shelby coming off, you can tell, uh, with his bald head. <laughs> but anyway, Rodriguez, uh, this guy uh, has some potential about him, uh, definitely. And he's got some good attributes, good attributes, good passer, uh, decent shot taker as well, good dribbler, all that stuff. Even though he got two-star skill moves, just his general dribbling attribute is good. But it's found its way to Bonnie again. And I keep saying Bonnie because I'm used to it. <laughs> but people told me to call him Boney, but I don't really care. As long as he's scoring, I don't care how to say his name. As long as he's finding the back of the nets, that is all I care about at the current point in time. That was a great through ball. That was perfect. 
It wasn't too short. It wasn't too far ahead of him. It was absolutely just a killer ball. It was a killer ball, and Boney found the back of the net. Nice little finesse shot as well. Um, yeah, Lindegaard, no idea what he was doing there. Uh, haven't scored too many finesse shots. Uh, goalkeepers are pretty uh, wise to them uh, in FIFA 15, but yeah, not Lindegaard. <laughs> uh, but Wilfred. Oh, I might just call him Wilfred. That's on his back. Usually, they like to be called what's on their shirts. But yeah, 2 0. We don't look like losing from here. And then here, Boney, he was against. Who's that? Phil Jones? Phil Jones, you're going to have no chance, lad. 